and a beach. They were building a city. Jack was painting. Kathy was making the post office. Susan was starting on a gas station. Bob was having such a wonderful time. He was just me. What do you want? Who wants to play it there? I decided to ask the others. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Hi. Hi. Excuse me for interrupting, but why isn't Johnny playing with you? Well, Johnny's rude and selfish. He doesn't think of others. He won't take turns. And he always seems to be mad at somebody, always shouting or bossing us around. You don't think he really wants to be that way, do you? Maybe he doesn't mean to be selfish, but he is. He just doesn't know that you have to be nice to get along with others. Can't you children help him get along? We tried, but it didn't work. Why? What happened? He didn't he didn't hurt him. Hurt him. <laughs> Wait. Let's remember it's more courteous to take turns. We did let him play with us, but you should have seen what happened. Whenever we tried to talk about what we were going to do, John interrupted him. Wouldn't give any of us a chance to say anything. He thought all our ideas were corny. He wouldn't let anybody else choose the blue paint. Said he was the only one who could have a blue house. Anytime he wanted something, he would just grab it. He wouldn't take turns or share. And when we told him we didn't like it, he was very rude. So we just decided that if we were going to have any fun, he couldn't play with us. Gee whiz, what a creep! You know. Oh, that's too bad. Isn't there any way we can help Johnny learn to be considerate? He'll never learn. Maybe not, if nobody will be nice to Johnny and really try to help him. But how? What else can we do? We could call him over and really try again. Okay? Okay. Johnny! Yeah. Can you please come over here a minute? Okay. Hello, John. Hi. Hi. We were just having a little talk, and we'd like it if you could tell us what you think. What about? We were talking about consideration for others and being nice to people. Oh. Uh. You know what that means? Sure, things like taking turns and sharing, not being bossy or interrupting all the time, and saying nice things like please and thank you. That's right. You do know what consideration for others means, don't you? Sure, who doesn't? Sure, who doesn't? You don't, that's who. Hold on, Susan. You're giving a good example of how not to be nice to others. Oh, I'm sorry, but he makes me so mad. If he knows all the nice things to do, why doesn't he do them? Maybe he forgets, just like you just did. What do you say, Johnny? How can I be nice to them? They won't even play with me. Do you have any idea of why they don't play with you? I don't know. Guess they just don't want to. Maybe there are other reasons. What, for instance? Here, let me draw you a picture. Do you know what I'm drawing? A bowl? <laughs> no, I have something else in mind. Now, what is it? A face. What kind of face? A smiling face. Yes, a happy face. Now, what's this? An unhappy face. Right. Now let's give them names. Let's call this one Smiley. And this one Sulky. Now, if Smiley and Sulky both came over to your house and wanted to play with you, which one would you rather play with? This one. Why? Because he's happier. He'd be more fun to play with. Yes, I agree. Now, look over here, Johnny. Would you say you look more like Smiley or Sulky? Would you want to play with you, the you that we see in the mirror? If you want other children to like to play with you, you'll have to be a smiley, not a sulky. That doesn't have to be so hard. 
In fact, if we change Sulky's selfish face to a happy, considerate of others face, he becomes a smiley too. All right, let's see you try it. I mean, change your unhappy face into a happy face, like Smiley's. Smile, Johnny. Come on, try, try harder. Yeah, that's better. If you can keep that happy face and remember to be considerate to others, I'll bet the other children will like to have you play with them. Sure. I wish I could say this is the end of it, but things never seem to work out that easily. Nobody can just all of a sudden start being nice to others. It takes a while. You have to try real hard and get lots of practice, or it's easy to forget to be nice. And I'm afraid that Johnny hasn't been trying long enough to go very far without a slip-up. Uh-oh, here it comes. Just a minute, Johnny. Let me finish. I think we should... No, talk. I got a better Stay idea. Sit down. Kathy's talking. Let her finish. Kathy's idea stinks. So here's the way we're going to do it. Now we'll put the post office over here. In my house up here. Hey, what's the matter? You're no fun to play with when you want to do all the talking. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, I forgot. That's just the trouble, you're always forgetting. Gee, I want to be nice, but how can I remember? I'm trying, then all of a sudden I get excited and forget. That's a real tough problem. How can we remember to always be considerate of others? Does anyone know? It won't work unless you want to be nice. Really, really want to. But I do really want to. Then you'll have to keep trying. Trying next to heart. Maybe you're not trying hard enough. The more you try and be nice, the easier it gets. Oops, excuse me, my shoe's untied. How did you learn to tie your shoes, Johnny? Well, I just wanted to, so my mom showed me how, and I kept on practicing and trying, and pretty soon I could just do it. It's easy. Sure. Learning to be considerate of others is like learning to tie your shoes. You've been shown how. Now it's up to you to practice and keep trying to be nice. Pretty soon it should be as easy as tying your shoes. But what if I keep forgetting? I know I to help Johnny remember. It's like we do at our house. It started one night around the dinner table. We don't want to call you children down in front of company or friends. But how can we remind you when we think you are forgetting to be considerate of others? Is there any way we can let you know you are being selfish without talking about it in front of others? Maybe we could work out some signal that we all know means stop. You're not being nice. I know, how about this? Hey, that's a good signal. It shows us that we should be thinking about being nice. That's good. Shall we all agree that any time one of us is starting to be selfish or rude or inconsiderate, and one of us goes, that's to remind us to be courteous? And it works, just so everyone takes it the right way and doesn't get mad. Sounds like a good idea, Kathy. Shall we all try to help Johnny remember by giving him the signal when he forgets? Yeah! Okay, Johnny? Sure. Well then, you go ahead and play, and we'll see how it works out. Johnny. Well, it should work if Johnny really wants it to and tries hard enough. When Johnny starts to forget and the others signal to help him remember, he has to be a good sport about it. But most of all, Johnny has to make himself remember so his friends won't have to remind him all the time. Then he'll start really being considerate of others. And if Johnny keeps trying hard, it won't be long before he'll be nice all the time. Then it will be easy, and Johnny will know that he's like Smiley, and other children will like to play with him. How about you? Do you ever forget to be considerate and act like a sulky? 
Or do you all try to be uh, smiley? <laughs>